Hi, this is Aria. I'm back with another deck review. Today we're going to be exploring the fountain tarot. Now this, this is a love. This is a very nice deck. I have this for many years. This is the um, indie independent um, version. There is a mass production, of course, of fountain tarot. Whoever <laughs> does tarot readings, knows that, or even collects or has or cares about tarot, I'm sure you have that in your collection. There's no way that, or you don't, you know about this deck. Everybody knows about this deck. When it came out, um, everybody went crazy. We love this deck. We appreciate the artwork. Um, so much work has been put into this. Um, we love it. We just love it. So we'll be exploring this today. This is an old one. I think it came out, uh, it is a few years ago. This is the independent version. You get this uh, kind of, um, now the packaging such as this, back in the days that this came out, we were not getting, and decks like this, and the whole um, experience of getting in your hands something that was really, um, so much love is put into this, and you can tell this. It's just, you pick up the love, you feel the love that was put into this. This is a project, um, I'll just uh, talk about it as we go. All right, so it opens up like this. And I'm, I, I'm just, ah, okay. And then it has this little ribbon here and you just pull out the cards. I think that you're getting exactly the same quality, the same thing now with the mass production. Um, but I'm not sure because I don't have it. I have this one. I'm, I'm thinking of getting the mass production because I don't want to be using this anymore. Uh, I want to... Um, keep it and treasure it. So this is the, the box. It's, it's lovely. It's just amazing. And then you get a book. Uh, you get some extras. Um, a fountain, a found, the fountain um, card. You get another extra one that has the name of the creators um, on it. And then they have signed a little um, card for, uh, for us, for everyone who got the deck, all three of them. And then we're going to the deck and they had these uh, paintings uh, done and they gave away uh, some of the paintings. It was uh, so many beautiful things that they did. It was so much love was uh, spreading out to the world at that moment. And I really loved it. I appreciate it because they brought in a new, um, uh, what is it called? Like, uh, it was just something uh, that we haven't seen before. And we like when people uh, do things for us. Uh, and they care. Spread the love. Spread the love. Okay. So this is the little book that comes with it. It's uh, it's little. Okay. Yeah. And you, you might ask, is there um, much to learn in this? I would say, first of all, that if you have done your work with your right away, so let me get the, the full uh, here. So if you have done your work with this and you're a beginner, going into this will be just... Uh, wonderful experience for you and this is just an amazing deck that um, is so airy in its way and it approaches um, the, the same theme like of tarot in such a unique way and because there was so much thought put into this the the cards do come across as they should although sometimes you might not be seeing all the symbolism so as an, uh, a deck to explore for a beginning beginner i love this deck and i like this deck I'm, i think that you're getting the same quality so i'm just going to point out a few things that it's very smooth it's um um you don't get the glare or anything um on the side i'm not sure if that was the first time that we saw this effect on decks coming out this is more of the silver it's not the holographic um that for example the mystic mondays has um, this is more of um, a mat situation, not so much of a mat as the moon child and the star child, the, the mat um, gold, but it's more of a metallic, if you wish. These are the backs, beautiful backs, and the front we'll talk about. So as I said, it's a very nice deck if you want to go into doing your own exploration after you're done with your right away, not the, the size. For the independent version, okay, it's the same as almost just a tiny bit of a difference. I wouldn't even care. No one cares. Uh, now, 
in here because I started talking about this and then I want to, if you're a beginner, um, there is. So, for example, this is a two of swords and we say inner conflict. There is a conflict between your heart and your mind and the strategies you have in place are unsustainable, strained and precarious. You are managing skillfully but will soon be exhausted. You must do something. It is not a position one can hold in indefinitely i'm sorry but i have the lights in my eyes and it's so hard sometimes to uh go through this and read because there's a distance as well <laughs> so i'm reading under all these lights that there is just a uh you get all this uh, kind of a blariness after a while that look i have three lights around here like big lights so you you can see the cards um and it's just too much for me reading from a distance uh, I, I try to avoid reading things because it's hard to pick up like to see it but I did it just so that you understand the style because um, the one person did the design, the other person did the drawings and the other person did the writing. So the, uh, what I'm trying to say here is that there's so much a thought put into this and they combined everything together. So th there's a harmony, although there's uh, three people working on the same project, they did it uh, together. So, you, and you cannot really tell, like you can see that there's a uh, bit some bit part uh, of each of them like they brought their heart into this so that you can pick up their heart um but um it is in such a great unity that it's done that this project is uh, has come into life so um so it, it reads nice and it has a um, very like you have things to learn from here it's not one of these decks that i would say that the 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 writing goes deep as there's other decks but those decks usually deviate a little bit from the fountain not from the fountain from the original right away whereas this one is really close to it so it's like it follows the right away more so i don't know if they had a lot of a uh, space to explore more that's what i'm trying to say but uh do read the book it's, it's nice i read it when i first got it but i didn't write on it i was i was like reading it and i was holding it like this so that like you can see it, that it's been Red, but like you can tell but I was trying so hard to keep it new because I really like this deck <laughs> all right so this is the deck let's just go into exploring the deck so the full and keep in mind that these are, are all paintings like someone actually took the time not on a computer uh, where things just have are are there for you it's just you have a nothing you just start out of nothing just white space nothing else like every single line had to be made it's not like on the computer that you get um objects ready and you just kind of uh, mix and match and math things around not that i'm saying that that kind of artwork is easier um, than this one but i'm just saying that over here someone took the time and actually made 78 cards in like working on it so it's just a different way of making art and i really like it and it's more contemporary so you'll see it's not so much of the contemporary that we get from like other decks as that they're more uh what is it called um uh not fighting against the system but kind of a uh, having their own uh their statement their that's exactly what i was looking for their statement this is just a different way of um seeing the same cards but without bringing in any statements. Okay, Nathan, I think I said it right. The Empress, the Emperor. Now this Emperor, uh, because we have seen the level of the artwork here, so we know um, what they're capable of doing here. Uh, I'm thinking that this could, could, could be the way it is, but in a done in a little different way so that i could have the emperor with my empress as the family the father mother that over here is just more the mother and i'm missing the father i get the structure i get what the emperor is here to create that he's the one putting things together like i understand all that but i would like to see more i would like this an image such as this one more and you could still hold that but in a more emperor as a fatherly figure not as a working figure. Okay, the hair font. Very nice hair font. Although I have said a lot of times that I prefer my hair font to be a religious one, just because it holds the faith element and because of religion. 
I like to see that. It does play a role in our society. Religion is very important for a lot of people. So I like to see it. Okay, so here, the lover is very nice. Different approach, very different. The chariot. I, and I like uh, how they separate. Like there's a lot of uh, techniques that, uh, that they're using here. Like they're playing around with a lot of uh, different techni techniques of a painting. Like we see shapes and gradients and uh, lines and the way the flow, how they put objects together. It's just very nice. And there's uh, these, I, I think they're oil paintings. So imagine that. The Hermit. This is very nice. I, I really like this, the Wheel of Fortune. The strength is number 11. It's not 8. So justice was 8. Hangman. There's just one or two cards that I'm like, eh. And that's for my personal reasons, not that they are not right. Death, very nice. Very, very nice. Another one. Temperance. It's beautiful. Very, very good. Devil. I love this devil because he's not devilish. So it's a devil that it doesn't... Um, it's not... Okay, I think the camera... Did not help here. It zooms in and out, huh? It does that thing sometimes. Why? Oh, sorry. That was a nice what I did, huh? Let me just try to find another angle for this. So it stops doing that. Because I noticed that it does that sometimes. And that's not nice. Because I don't I don't see it every time. Because it's hard for me with all these lights to look at the the camera and see what what it picks up so anyway so here we have the devil and i said i like it because it's not so devilish it's not a devil devil like a devilish devil it's the the um, the energy of the devil like the the effect of it the tower very nice tower the star beautiful star the moon another amazing oh, this is so because you know it just makes me feel like this makes me feel that i'm inside a house that is made out of glass and that's what i see <laughs> yeah i know i'm taking it to another level the sun so uh, i'm not i don't like these uh, little sunbeams here so this is not like my favorite one and there's one more that I'm not like so far no but it doesn't matter because it's just two out of like 78 and this one is not that I cannot work with it it's just um, because I see this level of um the artistic um the artistic level that we get here so this is like this is just art this is so good and then I see this that I'm like okay it, it's just it's not okay it's just it's a above okay but it's just not a, like this one look at this judgment like there's no words for this it's amazing the world very good an ace of cups another wonderful card another and you can see like it, it, it look can you really see the details from the paintings like even the up here very nice the two of cups so here you it's not so much um the it's a it's a different way of saying the two of cups but it's still a two of cups energy this is amazing this is like so good like these two look at these two they're very good and this one the three the four this they're just very good the five because i do look at the fives you know the six of cups so we still have the exchange, we have everything done in such a different way. This is so different than, than what the, the, the actual card is, but it's so good. The Seven of Cups. That's another uh, good one. I used to do my hair like that when I had it long, like every day. So that kind of uh, brings out my, I see myself in this. Not that I, I look like her, but I can relate to that. The Eight of Cups. So you get like the eight of uh, right away with um, Marseille kind of a style. So it's like mixing things. Very good. Nine of cups. Ten of cups. 
and try to think when this came out because I do say that about uh, most of my older decks um, older as published before like years before um, that do keep in mind when when things got published like so when this this deck actually um, came out does it say anything about the publication it's done independently so 2014 it says that's what it says so keep in mind that it's not like 2021 it's not a 2021 deck it, it could still be i'm not saying that it cannot be i'm just saying that given when this was published this was like superior <laughs> to its time artwork for tarot it's like come on now we have never ever seen images like this a knight of cups 2014 night of cups we don't it's like it was like this was an experience for uh, us as tarot readers this was a very unique experience that's a, an amazing queen of cups i like the core cards and i have said that i do other reviews and i talk about the fountain uh, core cards the reason being because um they hold something from uh today so this could be a person in a business meeting in um working in the corporate world so you do get like you can do readings that just take you into today's world and you can relate a lot and and i like it that you'll see it coming up because there's more um core cards days of swords look at this look at this artwork it's like this uh, this is what can you say about this? The first time I saw these images online, nothing could stop me. I was like, I don't care how much they want. I want this deck. And I used to live back then in, in Europe. So it cost a bit more to get it here. And I didn't care. And I wouldn't wait for the mass production. One. Like I knew that it was coming out, but I was like, no, I want it now. I really want it. Because I was like, what if I cannot get my hands on this? What if I lose the chance? <laughs> it's like, I don't want to, I want to have it. This is just, oh, this is my favorite image. In the, from the whole deck, I love this. I always talk about the Six of Swords. Because this Six of Swords, like, it takes you. It helps you. It's like the energy itself guides you. It's like the law of attraction. Where do you want to go? Let's take you there. But you have, you're the one um doing all the work so you're actually getting yourself there but there's the energy that supports you to get get where you need to go and i see that in this uh, cards so much and i i i really love it i i love this i love this this is another one of my favorite this one the seven of swords very good there's some of the the eight of swords there's some of these cards that i can um put down and start talking about and talk forever they just bring out um oh this uh this this nine of swords this nine of swords what can you say about this it's like it's not even yours because <laughs> you're picking up thoughts and i don't want to go into that but i'll do it for just um just to get your mind going you're picking up thoughts that resonate with you uh you're picking up thoughts so imagine thoughts now they're done in a different way but imagine thoughts it's you and the thoughts up here and you're picking up whatever resonates with you the same level of vibration that you're in and the frequency that you're working that's what you're picking up so if, once you change your mind you change your thoughts or the other way around but there's levels that you can do that like in coaching you just don't go into changing your mind it doesn't it's not that easy because there's a code that has been uh, registered in your brain so it's just it's the processing imagine that the that the information that you're getting, like the thoughts, is the processing of the of the data that you have input into your brain. And that's how it works. So over here is like they're not, the, your thoughts, they're not even yours. You're just resonating with it. So you're picking it up. And other people that they resonate the same way that you do, like the same level, they pick up the same thoughts. It's just that easy. But I'll explain how to do things. Like I'll do a series of things of uh how to use tools to get yourself out of uh, negative situations and bad thinking and all that. Well, we'll I'll work on that. I'll do that for you. Ten of Swords here. Very nice. Excellent. Page. So, core cards. Page of Swords. 
Knight of Swords. Oh, Knight of Swords. Very good. The Queen. This is a different Queen than what we're used to. And look at how, because I said it in the beginning, but maybe it didn't, it didn't. Look at like over here it has a triangle. So objects, that's, that's why we have in, um, that's another thing that I want to talk about. But anyways, objects have a, uh, an energy. So the, it's different to have a circle and it's different to have, let's say, a rectangle or a uh, triangle. They, they're, the sharpness of it, the smoothness, of a circle, you cannot even see it. But anyways, I was in a frame, it's okay. It's different. So over here, because she's a queen of swords, the triangle brings the sharpness of her mind. And you just see here, the knight of swords, it's like it has the intensity, the movements, the, the fast moving uh, knight of all our knights. And you see that here. And it goes through like all these colors that they, and he passes on to it. And you still see the triangles. So there, there is a, there's a way that you can pick up more than what um, is being said in the book. There's, there's more layers to this. It's just an amazing deck. And the King of Swords. Uh, Ace of Wands. Very, very good. Very good. Two of Wands. Another amazing Two of Wands. And you do know that I pay attention to the Two and the Three of Wands. Very good. It's a different way of seeing it because over here we see the work. Uh, but in the three of wands, we know that there's um, been a lot of work done. This is the four of wands. This is one of the, the sun and this one. I think that's it. And my problem with this is I don't like these uh, laser beams. And I've seen it in other decks as well that I commented on. I guess you just don't don't like that because it's if when you if you take it out you can still kind of figure out what's going on. I, I just don't find it. It takes so much of the painting. The five of wands, amazing, beautiful. Six of wands, another amazing one. And can you see like the detail here? Beautiful. The seven, the eight of wands. Now over here, I don't mind like the lines that they look like beams as well, because it, it, it makes the intensity of the eight of wands. So it gives me the direction, it makes me understand where we're going. So it's, it's moving. It's a forward movement that I'm part of. So it's like you're in your ones, seeing where they're going. So you're concentrating, you're bringing down, um, you're condensing. Uh, the energy, and this is just perfect, a perfect way of doing it in Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. And then we have the Ten. Very good. And I like it that he doesn't look like he's okay with it, because we see a lot of Ten of Wands, and they're having a good time carrying all this uh, weight on them, and it shouldn't be like that. And then we have the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. Of wands and before we had the triangles here because you see we have different colors and we have um as i said for the eight of wands how they how intense the ones are because it has the movement so it's a different sharpness whereas the swords it's a different kind of a sharpness they they're both active elements so the ones and the the ones and your swords are active as elements so they have movement but it's in a, it's a different way of moving Whereas, for example, the coins don't have all this movement, so they're more earthly, they're more crystallized, they're more down to earth, they have a different vib vibration. Two of our coins, pentacles. Two of pentacles. The three, this is a very nice two of pentacles, by the way. Uh, the four of coins, <laughs> and I like this idea. Who thought about this? This is amazing, this is very good. The five of coins, pentacles, and I do pay attention to my five of pentacles, which is uh, done very nice. And I like the respect I see here, that it's very um, respect, respectful to the human soul. The six of uh, pentacles, the seven, very good, very good. 
the eight of coins, eight of pentacles, putting the detail in, the last little piece that you're missing, the nine of coins, the ten, and then we have a page of coins, we have a knight of coins, and then our queen, beautiful queen, I even feel how she feels, look at her, like the, her, her hands, and how like, she like, this is a coin, this is a pentacle now, you have a queen of pentacle now, this is a pentacle, look at her, <laughs> very good, and then we have the king of pentacles, what, what I'm, um, here it could be, Either she could be a little bit older or he could be a little bit younger because as a couple, uh, they're not such a good, but would you get that in society as well? Would you get people um, with difference of, an, of age? But here, what I really like about him, and that is something that I uh, talk about in other reviews, I know it's not fair, but I do, uh, is that this guy, the king of coins, the pentacles, he he's a pentacle, like I, I could tell. And we do get, uh, he's very realistic. He's like a real, a real life uh, person. He's not like a made up person. So uh, when I do readings with this deck, um, I, like, I like it when uh, this um, personality comes uh, in my readings. Because it brings a lot of information in a different way. Like the King of Pentacles, there's other decks that it's, it's, it's like you're seriously questioning it. You're like, is that a King of Pentacles here? It's like straightforward. It's a King of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. So, and I'll just leave my beautiful queen here that I love her. Not that I don't like the other ones, but she's very, I like the way she, she comes across. Very elegant. Very nice. Okay. So that was the review of the Fountain Tarot, the indie uh, edition. There's a mass production, as I said. Uh, do check it out if you have it to work with it. If you don't, try to get your hands on it because it, it reads beautifully. And I'm thinking of doing May um, general readings with this. So if you want to see how it reads, then do come back and watch for that. Or simply subscribe. It's easier. Just hit the subscribe. Okay, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. Do come back. I love you. Bye-bye.